Now, changing coordinates can really make hard problems easy, but you need to know the right variables to use in the change of variables theorem. Let's see an example where choosing the right coordinates really helps. Compute the integral of 2xy times quantity x cubed plus y cubed. Oh, well, that's not so bad. Oh, but wait, we have to integrate that over the region in the first quadrant bounded by the inequalities x cubed minus y cubed ranges from 1 to 4, and x times y ranges from 3 to 5. Now, without knowing what coordinate change to use, what are we going to do? Well, in this case, it's probably best to make the domain of integration really simple. So here's a hint. Take a look at those inequalities and use that to suggest the following change of coordinates. We're going to transform to new coordinates u and v as a function of x and y, given explicitly in terms of the bounds in these inequalities. I'm going to let u be equal to x cubed minus y cubed, and v be equal to x times y. So what do we do? Well, now what we have to do is start filling in the details for the change of variables theorem. So I know that du dv is the determinant of the derivative in absolute value times dx dy. So let's start computing some partial derivatives and get this going. When I take the partials with respect to x, I get in the first column 3x squared and y. Then in the second column, I take the partials with respect to y to get minus 3y squared and x. Now, taking the determinant of that and multiplying by dx dy, I get 3 times quantity x cubed plus y cubed in absolute value times dx dy. Now, since we're in the first quadrant, I can drop the absolute values here and start trying to set up the integral. So to integrate, 2xy times quantity x cubed plus y cubed dx dy in our new u and v variables, the first thing I'm going to do is note that the limits of integration are going to be great. u is going to go from 1 to 4, v is going to go from 3 to 5, but I still need to transform the integrand. And Oh, look at that. Oh, there's an x cubed plus y cubed sitting right there. And that means when I do the substitution, I'm going to get 2 thirds v du dv. And oh, this is going to be so easy because what do I do? I'm going to pull out the 2 thirds, then I integrate du to get u. Then I integrate v dv to get v squared over 2 evaluating u from 1 to 4, and v squared over 2 from 3 to 5 gives me a final answer of 16. And oh, that was so simple. This would have been a painful integral in Cartesian coordinates. Thanks to the change of variables theorem, this was a breeze.